I just thought we had a good start, but we didn't have a great um, second half. If we if we focused on the positives, I told our kids at halftime, I thought we were a tough team. Yeah, they were getting boards that we wanted to limit the amount of offensive rebounds they got, but they're so stinking long. I can't stretch our kids out and make them longer, but I can make them tougher. And I thought we were still battling a couple mental errors in the first half. Second half, the wheels fell off. And um, I was just frustrated with the mental errors. Our kids started to show just the settling. I mean, when you're banking threes um, as misses, you're obviously not shot ready or you're forcing some pretty bad shots. So um, I just I, I was frustrated with that aspect. When you're, you're in a game against a good team, you're back at home, I just feel like you got to control the game a little better than that. You have to give credit to Augie. I'm not just going to say we were that bad. They were better defensively. I thought they were better. They had a pep in their step a, a little bit with their press. Um, where the first half it, it wasn't necessarily a daunting press, but then they get to that 2-1-2 two -two and kind of just it, it scared us, which was just um, shocking to me that it was going to be that terrifying. I mean, we go against a practice squad, uh, and, you know, we're flying around with 6-2 guys, and, and we were snapping it and breaking it. But he does a good job with those kids. They're very good at anticipating steals and, and just kind of playing um, that kind of chaotic, chaotic defense once in a while. So, I have to say it was what they did, but I also thought we just went the other way. They, they came out better the second half, and we, we shied away the second half. Yeah, um, you know, was, again, I, I don't want to take away from what she did, but 14 and 10 is a, is a great line, but I also thought there's, she was passive. And the fact where you only get to align two times on a, a team where I thought we could go downhill and, and kind of be tougher and get to the foul line, um, I, again, I need to find her easier shots. Sometimes I don't think she's shot ready, and she's trying too hard, and she plays a lot of minutes. Let's, let's just be honest. She's going to be tired, but um, impressive line for sure, but I still think that was not her best game, and, and I hope to God it wasn't her best game. Um, but, you know, she is a key player for us, and every every team knows that. I look at I look at certain kids, and I expect a, a lot out of them, and Amy's definitely that player, but she's, she's given everything she has for me. I, I trust her every time. I can look at her and say, okay, that's a bad shot, but get the next one, or hey, be tougher, and she responds that quick. So I love coaching that kid, and I'll never question her energy or effort or, or focus for the game. I, like I, uh, I told Brian, I am my end of the game speech was about 30 seconds long. We're not tough enough. Um, and so if you think it's going to get easier with Wayne State coming in, they're one of the, the tougher teams just mentally to play once in a while. We're going to see 40 minutes of zone, so get shot ready and, and I'll refocus. But if you're not going to play tough, yeah, then you you know we'll go even slimmer on our bench, and, and that's that sounds terrible to say, but it is what it is, um, and we just need to refocus who we are and start getting back to playing aggressive basketball.